All right, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Saijin Mod 10.1 on the Droid Incredible right here in front of me. So this is it actually already installed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over it a little bit with you guys first on here and then go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So we're going to go ahead and go into settings. And this is really where the beauty of this uh, ROM comes in. You can see right here you're running Android version 4.2.2, which is the newest Jelly Bean version available. Um, side gem on right there, all that goody stuff. And then if you go in here, you can see you have root permission with super user built right into your actual settings. And the best part of SideGemod is the customization you have right here in the launcher, the lock screen, the themes, and the system. And all the good stuff you can tweak and add in there. That's probably the, the best thing about this ROM. Um, you also have your uh, little toggles here. You can get into brightness, Wi-Fi, all those kind of things. And you can add and edit this stuff and rearrange it also. Get back into settings. So there you go. Um, let's check out the apps that this thing has. This thing only has a couple applications in it because this phone has such a small um, system partition. They gotta break it down and condense it. You can see you don't even have a Gmail, but you have the App Store, and if you have the App Store, you can get any application you need or want. So there you go. That's the apps. You can see one page basically. Um, it does come with Goo Manager installed, which is nice for doing updates. So, um, all that being said, let's uh, go ahead and uh, show you guys how to install this ROM on your Droid Incredible. So to do this, you're going to go ahead and you're going to need, obviously, to have um, an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed, those two things to do this. Um, so what you're going to need to do is, uh, if you don't have those things, Please watch my other videos on this device. I have a ton of them, and it'll explain all that to you. You can set it up with those things done. So you're going to actually also have to have, let's see, does this have a file browser? It does not. But you're going to have to have the ROM zip and the Google application zip on your device and know where they are at also. So we're going to boot into HBoot, and to do that, I think, well, let me check this. You should be able to go reboot. No, that's just a reboot. There is no reboot to recovery. So yeah, we're going to have to get an HBoot the old-fashioned way by pulling the battery out the back, sticking it back in, holding volume down and power until you see the HBoot screen right there. Put the back back on, and you guys can see up here in pink it says unlocked. That shows that your bootloader is unlocked. And then if you scroll down one to recovery, hit power. Um, this will boot up the recovery system you have installed, stock, clockwork mod, twerp, whatever it is. I have twerp recovery installed on this device, so let's let this boot up and I'll show you guys how to install it really quick. It's very, very simple to do. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, pretty much to install this ROM, whatever ROM you're on, you're on stock ROM, you're on a custom ROM, whatever it is, you're just going to go ahead and, well, you might may want to make a backup of whatever you're running currently if you desire or if you don't already have a backup of it um, I already do so I'm not going to do mess with that so we're going to go ahead and do wipes and just swipe across and it should wipe all of uh, your data and all that kind of stuff off this device to get it set up so that you can do the install of Saijimod 10.1 so we're going to go back that was successful go back again and then go to installs all right, so from here, we need to find our SD card. So we're going to scroll down, scroll down, SD card. And then I'm going to go to Downloads. I think that's where I have my stuff. And there they are. So I'm going to select this CM10.1 Tiny Ink Zip. And the date, whoop, that was the wrong one. We'll go back. Um, right there, there we go. And then I'm going to say Add More Zips. And then I'm going to select the Google Applications that are also said Tiny. So then I have both those files in there. You can see right here I have two of ten max. So two files selected. And then you're going to go ahead and swipe across. And this is going to install Saijima 10. So let's hit this run. Should only take about five minutes to install. And we'll go from there. Okay, so the install has completed. So we're just going to go ahead and hit reboot. And there you go. Uh, two notes for you guys. 
Um, one, make sure you have great battery life before you start this process. Um, you don't want it to die in the middle of an install. You could always should be able to recover from that by getting into recovery again, but it's just not a good thing uh, to ever have your device die on you while you're trying to install thing. Second note is this first boot up process right here can take up to 10 minutes on this device because it's the first time you're booting this ROM after, after you install it. So be very, very patient on that. Um, there you go. That is your Saijin Mod 10.1 boot animation. Love checking that stuff out. Very cool looking. Hey, as always, guys, um, that's just going to wrap it up. So please check me out right out here at rootjunkie.com. I add stuff to this thing constantly. Lots of great information on the Droid Incredible on there as well. You can follow me right over here at Facebook or Twitter. And that is it. That is installing Saijin Mod 10.1 or you want to say Jelly Bean 4.2.2 on the Droid Incredible. Hope you like it, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.